We will begin by logging in to ESM2. We know we are not logged in because there is no blue parameters tab in the top center of the screen. To log in, select user, select the profile you wish to log in, and enter the six digit code. You will see the blue parameters tab appear at the top center of the screen. This indicates you are logged in to ESM2. One of the first things we are going to talk about is the ability to create popouts in ESM2 on the laptop. Up in the top left corner of the screen, there is a box with a little box with an arrow in it. If you select this box, you will create a duplicate of that screen still showing real-time data. If we want to compare that to other screens, we navigate to the other screen and we can compare the data that is being compiled in two separate screens. We can do this multiple times. You can also size the boxes for the pop-outs. In order to see multiple screens worth of information at once. When you are finished, simply close the added screens. The next thing we will talk about is how to add or subtract users in ESM2. We had talked about this in a previous video, but we wanted to note that this can only be done while accessing ESM2 through a laptop. In order to add or subtract a user, Go to the Systems tab, which is purple in the top center of the screen. Go to Users on the bottom. We can add or remove a user via the laptop. One of the other features of being logged in through a laptop in ESM2 is the ability to print your screen. The little print symbol in the upper left of the screen allows you to select your print settings, select your orientation, and then either print to printer if you have a printer hooked up to your ESM2 system or print directly to a PDF file to save to your laptop. Once you've selected print, it will ask you to name the file where you want to save that file and then select save. That file is now saved to my laptop as an image. Simply close the file to return to ESM2. The next thing we are going to talk about is the ability to import or export data files into ESM2. If you want to import a data file if you are changing HMIs or export a data file for data review, you do this through the Systems tab. Select the purple Systems tab in the top center of the screen, then go down and select Logs. Select your time and date range for your logs. There is a box to select to export. Name the file, and then select Save. That file has now been successfully exported to your computer. In order to export all data from your HMI to a data file, select the System tab on the bottom left-hand side, 
select import export select the date range that you want to export here I only have selected one day's worth of data to export if I want to export more I simply choose the appropriate time and date range I can either export as raw data or compress the data for a smaller file size. If you have a very long date range, you will select compression. You will select what type of file you wish to export, either a .csv or a .dvx file, then select export. You will choose what data you wish to export and then select export. ESM2 will ask you if you would like to export this historical data. Select yes. Larger data files and date ranges will take longer to load. You will know it is loading with this moving circle in the center of the screen. Once successfully downloaded, ESM2 will notify you and ask you if you want to download that data file. Once the data file has loaded to your computer, rename it and select Save. You will get an indication that the file has been successfully downloaded and the location of that file.